Good morning, everyone. Um, today is officially day 29. So it's been 29 days since I got my stem cell treatment. Um, I want to tell you that yesterday, for the first time, I stood up by myself and needed to hold on to nothing. At this point, what I've been doing is, if I use my walker, you know, I, I hold on to that and I can balance myself, or I have to push up from, you know, the chair or whatever, or hold on to a wall to stand. But yesterday was the first time that I could actually hold on to nothing. Now, I couldn't stand for over a minute, so I'll start, um, counting and sharing that when I can. I talked to um, Vancouver Stem Cell yesterday and um, they're very positive. I can't praise them enough. They've been so nice. They're actually even talking about when I'm coming back. God, can you imagine? The hardest part about that was getting on the plane and getting there. Sitting in one little spot, not being able to move for five hours. Oh my God. So I want to be much stronger before I do anything like that. Um, I realize that most people get stem cells, get three or four treatments. So we'll see how it goes. I feel strong. Being able to stand without holding on to anything. That's a step towards walking because you need to not hold on to anything. So I'm excited about that. And um, they said they want to take a look at these videos too. So um, I'll keep posting, even if it's short, daily. So again, Vancouver Stem Cell Clinic rocks. Um, I'd like to say hello to Absolute Health Science too in uh, Guelph, Ontario. I, I go there for the natural path, of course. Um, Dr. Frances Turk is my natural path. She's awesome. I'm thinking of um, getting some B12 again. B12 and um, they do a lot of IV therapies there and she can actually put an IV in without um, getting me all bruised up. I have tiny veins, so. <laughs> That's usually a big, big problem. I am going to go for um, an osteopathic therapy, but I'm going to wait till next week. I'm hoping at this point that I could do it maybe every other week and then go to once a month. It's expensive, but you know, everything you do is expensive. We complain about the prices of it doctors and they won't do this and they won't do that but unfortunately if you want health you gotta be and uh, I'm coming from a long way down if you know what I mean um, it was actually very interesting talking to a new physiotherapist yesterday and she did give me some good pointers I won't be going there again just because I've been so spoiled going to nice offices that I won't go to anything less than that in, ever again. But she was helpful and um, again, told me just to keep doing what I'm doing to build muscle. I'm excited that I get a diet change after this. When it starts getting cold, I can have some meat again. Just You just have to be careful about how toxic it is. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but the people who are completely vegan, who are actually advertising this lifestyle, um, don't look very good. I'm sorry, but they don't. They look tired, and too skinny. They look sickly almost. So I'll still be eating lots of vegetables, but um, luckily, we found some places around here that I could actually get a higher quality of meat. So I'll be doing that as well. Um, what else? I feel pretty good. I'm, I go to the gym today. Um, I'm going to keep on the same set schedule. I really want to increase it, of course, because I'm 
a maniac and don't want to wait anymore, but I get tired. And unfortunately, if I get too tired, I'm done. I'm not just tired for the day, I'm tired for a week or month. So not overdoing it is very important for me. I know it's different for everyone with MS, but even the little exercise going to a new place yesterday, um, and again, doing the standing whenever I can think about it. Um, I woke up with spasms in my leg. Not really, really bad this time. I didn't scream or anything or cry, but um, you feel it. And that's just because I'm working these muscles and haven't for a long time. So I just wanted to share this update and I'll be posting um, something little, not a long one, every single morning. And um, I'm hoping tonight that I'm strong enough to even do a meditation. And uh, I'd love if you join me. So talk to you soon and have a great day. And again, Vancouver Stem Cell Clinic, you're amazing. And hi, Ivy. And I hope other people who are getting this treatment will post their videos. I want to see how you're doing. I know it's only day 29, but for me, the changes are huge. And I'd recommend this. I hope that Canada steps up and lets us get these and not have to sell our homes and stuff to go to it. So seeing the changes, feeling better. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.